Hi everyone, I'm Susan. And I'm Tara. And, and welcome to my channel. Wait. What? Your channel? No, no my, my channel. channel. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe this. We're 10 seconds into this. And... Hang on, we gotta get this figured out. And take two. You know that's annoying, right? What? I like it. You don't like it? Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Susan. And I'm Tara. And welcome to our channel. exclusive club. You're taking this really serious. So there's a few things that we have to do. Okay? Oh. This is your initiation into this oh. club. Oh, okay. Okay? Number one, rule number one. This is a no burn zone. No burning in this kitchen. Um, can you I, deal with that? I, I don't know if I can make that promise. Okay, I'll put a little store by that one. I mean, I have been known to burn water. There's no such thing as burning water. You don't burn water. Oh, yeah, you The can. water just literally burns all out, and then you burn the pot. That's what that is. That's what they mean by burning okay. water. Okay, well, then that happens. Okay. Okay, rule number two. A lot of people don't like to cook because they don't like to clean up the mess. Oh, yeah. So... I can see that. Well, that's okay, because I've been taught that we clean as you go. You clean the messes as you go. All right, rule number three. No wearing white in an Italian kitchen. I see that you already broke that one. Number four, and this one is the most important one of all. Oh, man. Are you ready? I don't know. Never, ever shame the family. Never shame the family. If you're going to serve our dishes, you got to make sure they're done right and they look beautiful. No shaming. Oh, man. This is... Okay. A lot of pressure here. Oh, this is... Here comes the real pressure. I... Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. I just am. Here's oh the gosh. family cookbook. Oh my gosh. This is our family cookbook, The Happy Cooker. And for you older group out there, the older audience, you will know exactly what that means. Okay, so now you put your hand on the kitchen Bible. Oh, okay. 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 Well, no, put your left hand and raise your right hand. Oh, okay. Okay. And you're going to swear and promise to abide by every rule that we just talked about. Uh, I solemnly swear and promise to abide to the best of my ability to all the rules we just went over. Okay. All right. Now there's only one thing left. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Just one thing, and then then, then we're okay. done. Then we can okay. get. Then we can get going. Okay. Because this is a lot of pressure. Okay. Since I am the queen bee of this kitchen, the queen bee. Okay. You have to kiss my feet. No, that's not happening. Oh no. Okay. I was just kidding. Oh no. Okay. Oh. But you know, all queens they do kiss their hand. Oh, uh, I quit. This is too much. <laughs> this is too much. All right. I'm I kidding. I'm kidding. All right. We'll just do. The Italian air kiss. 
Uh, I okay. can do. All right, ready? Okay, okay. Mwah, mwah. All right, there we go. You are now initiated into this wonderful circle of trust. Yay! Yay! I feel so special. All right, so now we can get it cooking. Oh, holy cannoli! So today, we're gonna to be doing an Italian spin on the classic tomato soup. Ooh. And what better to pair that with but some great grilled cheese sandwiches. Yay! Well, that sounds delicious. Okay, so this recipe is so simple. It's as easy as three, two, and one. Oh. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So basically what we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna put it on, on, on medium to start with, okay? And you just take a little bit of oil. It can be any kind of oil. And it's right there in the bottom. How much do you put in? Just a little bit, because all we're going to be doing is just sauteing a little bit of garlic and a little bit of parsley. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. So don't just, go crazy. Just a little bit more. Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's good. Okay. Good. 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 Now what? Okay. Woohoo! We're started. All right, so there's a little bowl right there of some chopped garlic, and there's about four or five cloves of chopped garlic in there. Okay. So you just dump that right in. And I know, okay, it can be a little bit closer to the pan next time. Okay? Okay. And then you can take that little spatula right there that, I, that we just went to the test, and I know you know that's not a spatula. That's a spoon. There you go. Okay. Spatula. And you want to get every little bit of garlic out of that bowl. Oh. Yes. There you go. All right. Now you can grab the parsley. And that's about, oh, four or five sprigs of parsley without the stems. Don't want stems. No stems in the soup. Okay. There you go. And that's Woo. great. There you go. That nice garlic smell. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Woo. Vampires awesome. aren't getting in here. Look at this. Got some oil spitting out here. So just kind of tone down. You don't need to stir so fast. In fact, just let it, just let it sit for a second. Well, I'm trying not to burn. No, no burning. Oh, believe me, you'll know if it's burning. Garlic is, does not smell nice when it burns. So. Yeah, and then it'll know. be too late. So you just want to. kicked out of the club. Well, I'm glad that you're thinking about that. <laughs> glad those rules are stuck in your head. Uh, how can I forget? Okay, so this is what I'm worried about now. Oh, no. You were white. Oh, no. And um, we're, we're going to be using tomato sauce. So aren't you kind of a little nervous about that? Um, it's okay. I got something for this. I came prepared. I knew cooking was messy. So you can never be too prepared. Wow. I, I'm liking this new Tara. Hang on. Okay. I'll be back. All right. Okay. Now I'm ready. I got gloves, protectors, splash guard. Okay. We're good. Good to go. See? That's great. I'm prepared. Yeah, but you didn't bring any for me. I was thinking ahead. Well, okay. you're thinking I, like well, me. I guess so. What we do next now is the three cups of crushed tomatoes. This one? Uh-huh. Go right into the pan. Oh, man. A little bit lower to the, to the pot. Okay. Now what? Uh, Okay, once that's nice and stirred, you got all the garlic and the parsley all stirred in there, then you want to add your two cups of tomato sauce. Okay, this guy here. Look at that. That was a good technique. Ooh. Okay, get your spatula. You want to get all, oh. every bit of that tomato sauce out of there. Sure, these little drips would make such difference. <laughs> there's no waste. We do. There's. It's, there's no waste in this kitchen. Okay. Now we get to add four cups of water. Okay. 
So it actually could be called four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 okay. That's all right, you're lucky it was water. All right, so the next step to this is we just wait now until it comes to a nice boil. We're not done yet, but that so far it's been super simple. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. I think it's boiling. Yes, it is. Oh, be careful of the lid. Go ahead and put oh. that in the. Oh. burn yourself? No, I got gloves. Okay, yeah, they're gonna melt on your <gasps> hand. <gasps> oh, no. oh, no. oh my god! The spatula is inside oh, Okay, tongs, tongs. we need tongs. I need tongs. tongs. Tongs, tongs. Oh no! Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what happened. Do not walk away oh, from my costume. Okay. okay, well good thing we got a plethora. Of extra yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Oh man, you really gotta watch go this. Go ahead and grab the spoon this time. Okay. 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 There you go. Better keep this handy just in case oh, you never know. I'm doing this one now? Yeah. Okay. And make sure you hang on to this okay. one. Okay. <laughs> you do not set it on wow. the side. Wow. Just slip right in. <laughs> okay, so next, you know what? We need to put some salt and pepper in. Okay. Okay. And yeah, we'll just put that down to the side. There you go. Okay. All right, now be careful with the salt and pepper. No, no, no. Just. Okay. You didn't even let me start. <laughs> you said put salt and pepper in. I know. I said, but you didn't hear me say it. There's that focus thing. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, focus. Okay. Okay. When you're putting in salt and pepper, you do one at a time, number one. Number two, you do it very slowly because you. Once you put it in, you can't take it back out. So put one down. I don't care which one you put down. Okay. okay. This is the salt. So just gently, just kind of sprinkle it over the top. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, that's good. Okay. okay. Now just you go ahead and put the pepper in. Okay. There you go. Doesn't come out. No, fast. it doesn't. Okay, that's good. All right. Okay, we're gonna add the macaroni. Okay. There you go. Oh, close to the pan. There you go. Now you gotta stir that around, make sure that it doesn't clump up and it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Oh, these little noodles are so cute. Yeah, they are very cute. You can put them back in the soup now. Oh. But we'll talk about those little noodles. Those are called didalini. And didalini. Didalini. Yes. Fancy. Or another another name for them is saladette. Oh. It's just a short little macaroni. But but didalini is so much more it fun is. to say. Yeah, it is. It's very Italian. And if you can't find those in your local grocery store, then you can just use simple elbow macaroni. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for seven minutes. Seven minutes. And then we're gonna come back. We're gonna finish off the soup. And then we're going to start on our grilled cheese with this awesome bread. Okay. Okay. We'll be back in All seven right. minutes. Okay. It's been seven minutes. Okay. So now that we've got the base of the soup done, we've got our last two ingredients and we can just let it simmer while we start on our grilled cheese. Okay. Okay. So what do we, got? we have um, some cubed up. This is, this is Romano cheese. So I think everybody has a favorite cheese. Romano is my favorite of the hard white cheeses. Okay. okay. So, okay. okay. So you just cut them like, yeah, it tastes really good. Mm. So you can, you usually cube them up about the size of a sugar cube. Okay. And then I don't usually put these in until the very last because um, probably about maybe five to ten minutes before you're ready to serve the soup. So you want to put that in. Okay. All right. Okay. Splashy. Splashy. Down, down, down. There you go. Okay. They all gone. Oh, we missed a piece. Okay. Take your spoons. Stir it around. Okay. And this last ingredient, or last ingredient, is frozen peas. And this is an ingredient that you can either use or Omit because it's all what your family likes. 
My family likes the peas. So, but this is not going to change the basic flavor of the soup. Okay, so just th put those in. Just put them right in. There you go. Right. <gasps> ah, okay. Yes, <gasps> oh. Well, it just, oh my God. Just slipped right okay. out. Okay. I don't know what to do. You are going to ditch the gloves. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. I need to Well, I knew. I kept these out for a reason. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Simmer, and now we're gonna go straight into the grilled cheese. Okay. You don't need any splash guards for grilled cheese. I don't know. Things you have me do. So, all you gotta do is just uh, take a piece of bread, and you want to put butter on one side of the bread. Okay. Okay, that's probably a lot of butter, but. You can never have too okay. much butter. You like butter? That's good. Who doesn't like butter? Okay, that's good. We'll make sure that your butter is side to side, this way and this way. Okay, side to side. Side to side. Wait a minute. Did you already butter that side? Yeah, you said no. side to side. Side to side. You want to make sure you're full. Okay. Look at that. All right. Now what do I do? Now you can... Got it all over your hand. All right. Okay, then to match um, the cheese that we have in the soup, we're just going to use a nice aged white cheddar. Okay, I think he might be ready to flip. All right. Okay, so what do you do? Well, normally what I do is I just kind of put my finger on the top. In the butter? Like you didn't have your hand in the butter to begin with. Oh, okay, that was... Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay. Don't. I know. Touch. I know. Don't touch. Don't, 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 don't burn yourself. This is a no burn oh. kitchen. <laughs> that includes you. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Look at all that cheese and the macaroni. Check those sandwiches again. Oh, I see smoke, so. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. There's smoke. Okay, right over here. Oh, man. Put them on the board. I don't know what's happening, but they're okay. smoking. Go ahead, right there. Oh. Okay, that's okay. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Now, here's the test. Oh, man. Okay. Are you ready? Let's give it a try. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Melty cheese. cheese. Oh, those are good. Those are toasted good. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. you got to make this. In my family, do you know what we call this soup? What do you call this soup? Zupa fagata. Zupa? Yes. Fagata. Fagata is awesome in Italian. So this is just awesome soup. Oh, well that makes sense because yes. this is awesome soup. And if you want to learn how to make this soup and you want to join our circle of trust, well just hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that like and ring that bell. And just remember, we're always better when we do it together. together. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.